That was, without a doubt, the single best video I have ever seen in marketing materials for any game I have ever played. I love that so much. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so this is 868 Hack, released January 27th, 2015, developed and published by Michael Bra? Bro? Bru? B-R-O-U-G-H? You are a computer hacker. You steal precious data while the world sleeps. We do not have a hacking simulator on our hands. This is marked as a um, strategy indie roguelike, roguelike hacking cyberpunk. So it's a hacking themed strategy game. So uh, let's start. Um, this is the first time I'm running it, so I'm not sure what to do. There doesn't seem to be a tutorial. I guess we'll see if we can figure it out. Um, Okay, that's me down there. Oh, there's a thing. Stuck. I don't know what to do. Uh, is this the finish zone over here? Is that what the goal is? Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, we also have these. Okay, so we were we're facing off. Data siphon. Okay, I think I get the picture. Don't know exactly what's going on here, but all right. Siphon. I'm not sure. Oh. Alright, that was apparently a data siphon. Okay, I see. So I used push, it pushes them away. Okay. Oh, he's a fast one. Um, what else can we do? That's one, can't do two, three. Oh, shit. That's not good. Yep. Okay. What's up? Oh. Ah. Nice scores. Um, okay, so this is um, definitely an interesting one. I don't remember playing something like this before. It's kind of like a mix between... Well, I mean, there's obviously a lot going on here that I'm not getting. Uh, but it's like a mix uh, almost between a... Ooh, he's a fast, fast guy. Um... Like a Pac-Man and like a turn-based RTS. Yeah, you can't just stand there. That's they can they can zap you. Um, not sure. Is that the thing that killed me here at the end? Is that the different names for the different things? Seems to all be. Um, seems to all be fairly random. What does one do? Not sure. I should say wait. So if I press space here, we use up a day. God, that uses that creates so many enemies, though. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There's gotta be some some correlation between where I am and the enemies that it creates, though. So, uh, like, what do we got here? we do this it looks like we're going to gain the step and weight abilities and I don't know what the red numbers versus the purple numbers are I guess let's find out oh one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah okay now I'm getting it but that's not good yeah all right so I'm picking it up as I go here
Uh, show. What if I do this? No, can't do it. There's no, okay, there's no data to siphon. But what if I hit one? Don't know. Didn't seem to do anything. All right, so then. Damn it. That was my fault. So I think the red number is probably the number of enemies that are created. Let's test it out. Let's go down here and we'll do it here. Okay, nothing was created. If we come down here, will we get four? Uh, yeah, we sure did. Okay, so that's what that means. So we gain the, the one, but we lose the other. Uh, and then we have a mystery block here. Okay, I'm getting it. Now these, in the background here... Alright, so the key is to not get penned in here. I'm getting it. Okay, got one of them invisible guys. Oh, shit. It did come out of nowhere. Um, noticing that they're changing when I jump over them. The background, I mean. Yeah, that's that. Okay, I get the idea. It's uh, actually a pretty good, pretty novel... Um, sort of strategy game that they've got here. I can't say I've ever played anything like it before. Like I said, it, it does remind me of several other games, but of no one game in particular. It's more like it reminds me of several different things more than anything else. Um, which is, I know means a bad thing. Um, but I'm also not sure exactly what the objective is other than to continue I mean, that could just be the game to continue to play until... Let's do this and see what we get. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Okay. I was wondering what the deal is with that green thing there, but nothing happened when I did that, so... Um, looks like we... Uh, earn energy and points with that stuff. That's what it looks like. Mmm, I'm stuck. Um, what if we... What's debug? Oh. Huh. Okay. Not so bad, not so bad. What's that mean? Okay. Well, I mean, so let's. I guess let's try the mystery one here and see what we get. Oh, shit. That's... No, that could have been worse. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> Uh, oh, is the goal to survive... No, because that was... That was more than three. Maybe it wasn't. Is the goal to survive eight levels? Is that what that is? Three of eight? And then what's this? I don't know. There's no there's no column headings. So this is energy. I don't know what that is. That's money. Um, okay. High scores. Streak scores. Okay. High scores overall. Streak scores overall. Black Cat, apparently. Top of the heap here in this game. Almost impossibly good, one might say. So Black Cat, investing a lot of time in this. Let's see what we got here for reviews. 
<clears throat> All right. So uh, as I mentioned, the video best I've ever seen, hands down. Um, you are a computer hacker. You still press data while the world sleeps. Siphons are your lockpicks. Progs are your guns. Connect to the sectors. Download the data. Escape or be deleted alive. Very positive. Uh, oh, so this is a port of an iOS game, so a former mobile game. I get that. Um, it definitely has the simplicity of a, of a mobile game, and I would say that looks like a pretty pretty decent mobile style game too. Um, roguelike with tactics and strategies, so tightly integrated, it feels almost like a puzzle game. I agree with that. Sure. Um, let's see the negative reviews because this is a good game. Um, it's not a hacking simulator, but it is a good game. But let's see nine negative reviews hmm love cyberpunk theme enjoy roguelikes awesome title story hacking i don't know i just don't guess i just don't get it if you want to try it get it on sale good luck if you do which by the way i gotta say this is exceptionally inexpensive unclear instructions resolution issues with no settings to try and fix them and to top it all off the game itself wasn't very interesting to me oh well i mean i it's true i did have to figure it out on my own i guess I missed the refund period. Resolution bug. Confusing rules. Lazy tutorial. Weird game, but not in a good way. I'm going to disagree with you there. I'd write KSH. Not good. Should be $1. Eh. Puzzle game with hacking themes. Uh, though the game does have a tutorial, I felt as though I was thrown into the game without much explanation. Uh, so if there was a tutorial level, I guess I completely missed it. Uh, awful games that isn't fun. Don't waste you money. Well, I don't feel like I wasted me money, but, you know, whatever works for you, I guess. Um, but, uh, what else we got here? Okay, oh, okay, so these are the programs that I have discovered, even if I haven't used them. So, antivirus, attack all virus, step, take one step freely, okay, increment enemy distance. Okay, well, I like the fact that there's different things that you can do, different abilities, uh, that... Uh, is excellent and it adds a lot of variety to the game um, what's this global oh, okay that turns global or, or friend on for the high scores here well I uh, yeah I do I do love uh, the various programs that does add a lot to the game oh here's the tutorial Welcome to the mainframe. Okay. 86 minutes after midnight in Zaga City. Username Happy Face, password, we are uh, Smirky Face. An authorized intrusion detected, initiating tutorial sequence. Arrows to move. Okay. That one I figured out on my own. Move towards an enemy to attack. Yeah, that one I figured out on my own too. Collect data siphons. Yeah. Siphon open cells for resource. Okay, yes, I did figure that one out on my own. Okay. Space, siphon probes, hold for description. One plus run probes. No? Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Figure that out. It alerts three enemies. Space siphon points. Okay, that's the points. Okay. Okay. 
enter the port. And that was that. Okay, so the tutorial level, short and sweet, didn't really teach me anything that I couldn't figure out in a couple of seconds of playing on my own, so it's a fairly intuitive game. Um, not saying that the tutorial level wasn't worth playing. Uh, if I had played it, of course, I wouldn't have had to guess, but I'm saying that the game was playable without the tutorial. I was able to figure everything out pretty quick, so that's good. It's, a, it's an intuitive kind of game. What would take longer, of course, is earning and figuring out uh, what all of the different programs are and do, but that seems also like it is uh, the fun of the game, right? At least at the beginning. So, um, 868 hack, not a, not a game that I can use, uh, in my, in my educational capacities, but, uh, a fun little hacking themed puzzle game. Certainly, certainly one that I would, uh, use to kill a little bit of time here and there, you know, as, as we do. Uh, but I don't have time to do that right now. And so I will just simply leave it at that. Uh, definitely recommend if you're into, hacking-themed puzzle games. So take care, and we'll see you on the next one.